What's up, everyone? All right, guys. I'm going to have clips every day for one of these weapons. We're going to upgrade them fully. We're going to go out and try them out and see what we think of them. Of course, we're going to try them out in the middle of the night during a chase. And that's how things will be. All right, so this is what the you know, default... Um, that's the default blueprint that the craft master comes with. Um, so let's see, collect weapon blueprints by completing and completing quests, exploring the city, and participating in the community events, which I missed out on. Um, to me, it doesn't matter. Like I don't have to do each single one, but I'm gonna do as many as I can until the game gives us better content to cover. Um, Cause I miss the game. I really do. But I don't know, guys. Anyways, let's focus, you know, on the topic. All right, we're done with that. So we're going to upgrade this one first, and we'll leave this one for next time. This is what I hate about them, is most of them cannot be upgraded all the way to the um, legendary status. Oh, wait, I want to... Wait, did I just craft it? Okay, how about upgrading it? Yo, how do I upgrade it? I don't get it. Okay, so let me let me let me check. Oh, yo, wait, 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 what is triangle? Upgrade blueprint. Okay, so X is to craft it. Huh? All right, my bad. I just paid attention to that. Old faithful, I call that. I thought like. If I press and hold triangle, I was going to buy like the maximum amount that I could buy. I'm like, no, don't do that. Nice. All right, so now it's an artifact. You're walking away with some good shit. Some good shit. All right. I don't know if I trust you. I don't want this bullshit. The shit away from here. Actually, I want to see how much can I sell them for. I want to see if they fix this price with the vendor thing. Like, how hard is it to fix the prices, guys? Just increase the price of all the items we can sell by whatever percentage. You're done. Is that really hard to do? How much does this cost? It just costs. Okay, yeah, it does cost money as well. All right. Um. I don't need none of this crap. Where's right, sell? Buy. I can't Pleasure sell it though. Doing business, I have friend. to go sell here. Name right. your poison. Name my poison? Money. Give me your money. This is why I'm here. Right? Alright. Let's see. Nope. It's still bullshit. You see what I mean? This is not, it's not worth my time. Your hands. One gold, one gold, one. Jeez, man. I mean, these are level twos and shit, but still. Just in time. I mean, uh, that's not a level two. All right, let's see how much this one costs. One fucking. Well, they they never fixed it, but um. Baby I think they did fix it by. Let me see. I did hear something about. If you don't like something, you can just dismantle. There we go. There we go. That's what I should have probably done, but uh, who cares at this point? Yeah, I don't need this. Let's dismantle it. All right. I mean, they show you what you get out of it. That's really nice. I'm glad they added that. It's part of the update. I know. This is how I how I knew about it. I remembered it. I'm like, oh yeah, you can dismantle I'm shit now. Welcome here. I mean, dismantling it is a lot more useful. I would say, to be honest, it really is than selling it. Um, because it's hard to come by those craft parts usually, and money is useful as well though. Like you need money at this point. Why well, do I was I'm gonna like probably have an episode where I just go and assist as many distress calls as I can. It's not gonna be anytime soon though, but uh, I've been thinking about doing that for a little while. Just like I've been thinking about doing an Elden Ring guide, and. Um, and I finally made one. God knows how long that took. Jeez. 
Uh, that, but that's what I get for doing it from scratch, I guess. Hey. Alright. So. Let's see how good this shit is. I mean, we have to be able to turn it into legendary. I'm gonna see how many we get. Well, we're gonna test them all out. My favorite thing to do is spark and frost. There we go. Those are my favorite too. Where are you, Frosty? Alright. Weapon damage at night, regeneration on power attack, stamina, health regeneration, perfect block. I mean, that's okay against humans. And just, yeah, like the only useful thing about it is going to be damage at night. So the stats are not great, but it is an artifact, not a legendary item. So, yeah, so we're not going to put anything there. I forgot, I can't even put a third thing on it to increase the damage one more time. I can only modify it twice, not three times. So they need to change that. All the blueprints have to be, you know, upgradable to the legendary, um, to the legendary level. Um, let me see. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna jump. All the way down here and go fight some zombies. Um, let's just, let's get things straight. Yeah, let's switch this one with this one. I want to get rid of the shit. It takes so long, and look how much help it gives you. I thought, why is this even here? Is it just to artificially make the game harder in the beginning or something? I don't get it. Oh, really? oh, that's our target right here, the fucking spitter. I'm gonna go spit in his face. Look how long it took me to like recover less than half my health. I don't think I even recovered fully. Nope, I still have a oh well some Who saw me? Come on, what? Oh you fucking asshole. You think it's smart, huh? Get up here. I mean, I'm still two shotting the regular zombies, but uh, it did take a little bit long to kill that spitter there. I gotta admit. Yeah, I mean, it's two hits for those zombies. Just pretty much. I know, actually, my other weapons now are like one shotting the zombies. Which is not bad. And this is an average weapon, or maybe slightly above average. I like it. I like especially due to the fact that it is a slashing weapon. I like slashing weapons more than blunt weapons. Um, but yeah, like I'm not gonna like. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do like a whole chase with it because that's just gonna take way too long. There are like a lot of these weapons, blueprints. But you know, I can go and I can go and try to buy something else. I mean, we can like try to find a few parts. Like, I don't know how I feel about rampaging with this weapon, but um, hey, it makes the game more challenging. I love the aggression and I love how fast I reacted there. Hey. Alright guys, that was good enough. We killed a few zombies. One special zombie spitter. Full. Yeah, just give us more scraps. Yeah, I'd rather have scraps at this point than three gold. Uh, we're done. 
Maybe not, I lied. Try to crush a few more, few more fuckers. Here. I think that's the last one here. I will take scraps. I'm gonna be doing a lot of blueprints, crafting a lot of weapons and shit. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this one. That's what I think of the signpost. I'll give it a. I mean, for it not having. You know, not having anything useful on it except for weapon damage at night. And of course, the legend upgrade. I think that's like default on all of them. Like, they all have legend upgrades on that shit. So. Uh. Stamina regeneration on power attack is not really good, I think, for a one-hander, but hey, it depends on your playstyle. I mean, if you're using that a lot, power attacks, then this is useful. But if you don't, man, uh, it's not. How's regeneration? Perfect block is only useful during the day. You don't fucking do perfect blocks on zombies, so uh, for nighttime, it's useless. For daytime, uh, I usually don't block, I usually dodge a lot, so uh, to me it's not useful, but if you are a blocker, then this weapon is not bad. I would give it a solid like 6, you know, slightly above average the way I see it, but uh, I just wish they would give us um, a higher level of this ship and make it legendary. I want to be able to upgrade this to the maximum level. Um, until they do that, this will be a 6. Maybe when they upgrade it fully, it'll go to a 7. But, I don't know. I like the way it kind of looks. I mean, it's very standard and very, like, um, savage. I mean, it's a fucking signpost that you turned into an axe. All right? Uh, that is the definition of savagery, I would say. Look how it's all, like, bloodied up and stuff as well. So, I like it. It looks good with this maniac clown. Um, whatever he is, like a zombie clown guy. You know, like veins running through his back and shit. The back of his head. Um, but yeah, no, that, that's it, guys. That's what I think of this weapon. And I'll catch you all in the next one. I will be grading each single one. At least each single one I can get. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all of them because I think I missed a few. Because um, they're like... You know, they were, like, tied to events and shit, and I was busy making an Elden Ring build guide uh, during that time. Anyways, guys, this will be the end of the video. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to watch more content like this, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care, y'all, and peace.